morning. This is a wonderful day. It's a new day. And I purpose to rejoice and enjoy today. On my way to where I am going. Sometimes we are so distracted that we fail to enjoy the now. Because we are worried about the next and tomorrow. Yesterday we had a wonderful service themed emotional wellness. And after the service... I thought to myself, I'm going to go to the pool and just swim a little. And I prepared myself to go to the pool, but out of nowhere, I got this allergic reaction that even now the doctors are puzzled. They don't know what caused it. I couldn't breathe. I had to, my daughter had to administer EpiPen and I had to be rushed to the hospital. And I stayed there for four hours as the doctors took care of me. And I came home and I've slept well. And that has taught me not to worry so much and not to miss the now. Because we do not know what tomorrow holds. I thank God for saving me and for healing me. Today I want to talk about the feelings of being forgotten. Have you ever done something to someone, a good deed, and it was forgotten? Have you ever felt like you help people out, but they forget about you? Jesus on the cross cried and said, My father, my father, why have you forgotten me? These feelings are legit. If Jesus and he was God, experienced that and he felt at his time of need the father had forgotten him then we are not exempt there are times we will feel forgotten joseph in the in the prison interpreted a dream for the butler and the baker and he told the butler when you get out of here please remember me but the butler forgot all about joseph We also have Haman and Mordecai case. Mordecai had saved the king. He heard of a conspiracy to eliminate the king and he shared this information and the king's life was spared. But his good deed was not rewarded. He was forgotten. Until the time was ripe for him to be remembered. When the time was ripe for Joseph to be remembered, the butler mentioned Joseph to the right person, to the king. And he was taken from the prison two years later and brought to the palace before Pharaoh and he became a prime minister. His time of remembrance came. In the case of Mordecai, many years later, The king could not sleep one night because the time of remembrance for Mordecai had come and his good deeds were rewarded. I am here to encourage you because we sometimes feel forgotten even after doing so good to people who we live with, to communities, to our neighbors. When you are in need, you feel like people should rally up and remember every good thing you did and just show up for you. But one thing I know from the book of Malachi is that there is a book called the book of remembrance. In Malachi 3, there were people who were talking one to another. They that feared the Lord and the Lord in heaven said, let a book of remembrance be taken out and their names written on it. Galatians says, Do not be weary of doing good, for in due season you shall be rewarded. If you're feeling like throwing the caution to the wind and never been for there for anyone because in your seasons of need you feel forgotten, I am here to encourage you that there is a time of remembrance that is coming. You will be remembered. Don't feel sorry for yourself or discouraged that you're forgotten. May the books of remembrance be open and may you be rewarded because to be forgotten is not a state that is permanent.
a time of remembrance is now a time of remembrance is coming shalom shalom this is pastor lucy painter of glorious power church with your daily insight shalom